Good afternoon. Well, it's a rainy, um, freezing rain and sleep and snow day. Possibility of losing power. And so uh, I thought I would do a video in case we did lose power. So I have one to share with you today. I was praying about what I needed to say. It's become a burden in my heart. I've even dreamed about it. And it was disturbing to dream about what was so needed in America today. And that was prophets of God. I'm not talking about prophesying the future or anything like that. I'm talking about bold preachers, evangelists, pastors, bold witnesses for Christ to be raised up in this country because the greatest need that we have in America right now is the truth to shine in the darkness of our land. I remember one time I was preaching on Bourbon Street. I was really, I just went down there to share Christ and God told me to get a bullhorn and go down the street, down Bourbon Street during Mardi Gras and only preach the Word of God. In other words, no illustrations or nothing like that. Just quote scripture. And I remember as I went through the streets of Mardi Gras, and I would say, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. And I remember the power of God was on His Word in that street. And I was reminded today that we need to have bold preachers and bold evangelists who will stand and confront this nation. I remember Billy Graham when he was, particularly in his prime, when he was a young man, listening to some of the classic preaching of Billy Graham. The power of God and the anointing of God was on the simple message. And people were saved by the thousands because of this man of God who would stand boldly and confront the leadership of this country. And those who are in authority and have power heard the message of truth and many were saved. But the verse of scripture that came to my mind today is this. It's found in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. Beginning there, it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, you see, what's wrong in America today is when men leave God, God turns them over to a reprobate mind, to evil imaginations. You think, we, we as believers sometimes think people have gone crazy in this world, and they literally have. Because that's what happened when we forsake God and we forsake the Word of God. And so what we need more than anything else, I believe, in this country today, a bold evangelist, bold preachers who will get out of the pulpit necessarily, and go out and preach in the streets and hold crusades once again in this country and invite people to hear the word of God who are not afraid as John the Baptist who would point his old bony finger in the face of Herod to remind him of his sin even though it cost him his life. You see, minds have been turned over to darkness in this land and we need the light of God's word to be preached in the pulpits. Hell needs to be preached about. Heaven needs to be preached about. Redemption and the blood of Jesus needs to be preached in the streets of America today. I'm praying God will raise up in my family and in your family bold witnesses for Christ who will stand and, they, and say, Thus saith the Lord, no matter what the consequence of their life. Is life so dear to you that we're ashamed to speak the truth in love with power? That's the answer. To America today would you pray with me that God will raise up once again men like Billy Graham and others and that would stand and proclaim the truth at all cost that's my prayer today would you join me in it